is up you guys my name is Selena and today's gonna be a new tutorial on the Sherlock Holmes transition it's kind of like a blending mask transition don't really know what to call it but yeah let's get started in Premiere Pro okay so you're gonna want your two clips what I'm using is my friend and then the next clip is gonna be a new background so new locations so this is a good effect to transition between different places so I'm just gonna bring my first clip of my friend to the second video line and then we're gonna go under a pass and click that pen tool and we're just gonna make a mask around her and it really doesn't have to be perfect at all that's kind of the point of this effect it's super easy and it can be really kind of rushed so once you've completed the mask you can go to the feathering and feather it a ton this is what they use in the TV show and if you want you can adjust the expansion but you don't really have to if you did a pretty good masking and then what you're gonna do is bring your second clip under your first clip and you can do it kind of like halfway, not all the way. And then you're going to go to the clip on the second video line and hold alt on it and bring it through the third video line. Then on our third video line, we're going to just delete the mask. So now it looks like the normal clip again. Now we can go to opacity and drag the bar where the second clip meets the first clip. And then we're going to press the keyframe button for opacity and then just go a little bit forward and bring that to zero. So now it blends into the masked clip. And now you can go back to the second video line and you can adjust the mask path if you want. Press the keyframe button for the mask path and just go a little forward and you can kind of move it so that it follows your person that you're masking out. Now when you want to completely take away your friend and just put the background, you can go to the mask opacity and press the keyframe button and then go a little bit forward and then bring that down to zero. Okay, so that's the effect. You can also do it in reverse. So we're just going to bring these all these clips backward and we're going to bring in another clip that's a different location and then put that in the beginning of the clip and then we're going to drag our last three clips and bring it over halfway. Now what we're going to do is go to our third video line on the clip and then go to the opacity and bring that to zero in the beginning but we're just going to drag it a little bit after the clip starts. And then we're going to go a little bit more forward and bring that to 100. So it pops in and blends out. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.